Gerardo's gameplay now. I'm very excited, especially to see how Magic Cup's going to work. So let's try and find out what we can see right here. Very hyped for this character, of course, how it's going to look in Unite. And there's good old Magic Cup. Oh my, it's so good. Splash and Flail. Let's see. Has the user Flail about dealing damage nearby opposing Pokemon? The lower the user's remaining HP, the more damage this move deals. Okay. There's the basic attacks. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it already. Nah, man. That's that's so good. It's just... <laughs> Jumping around. We have Splash. And Splash? Has he to jump to the same location? It can jump. It's a dash. I mean, that's pretty... Yeah, that makes sense, right? You just jump somewhere. And you do no damage with it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. Magic car broken. <laughs> Magic Cup is broken. All right. And then we have, I mean, yeah. And then, so apparently the evolution is based on the bar under the HP bar. The blue bar that's filling up, when you have this filled, I think it's supposed to evolve. And you get it from like scoring, attacking, getting KOs. Um. So yeah, let's see how that goes. So it doesn't have a like level set evolution. Oh, very interesting. So let's see if we can maybe get a KO right here and see how much it fits up by. The splash? Magic magic cup killing people is just too funny. There we go. Okay, that was wait, that was a lot of experience. It's almost like one KO. Look at this. It fit up this much. Okay, that's that's cool. That's interesting. And then we have Dragon Breath and Aqua Tail. Now this is so cool. It's just Gyarados. Dragon Breath? Has the user exhale a mighty gust dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and leaving them paralyzed. If the user hits an opposing Pokemon with this move, the user basic attacks are boosted for a short time dealing increased damage with increased basic attack speed. The more opposing Pokemon hit by this move, the greater the basic attack increase. Okay. Looks looks good. Let's see it in action maybe. Skill shot in a direction. And wait, wait, is it wait, it's mainly auto attacks, right? And then we have Waterfall. Wait, Waterfall. Has the user charged three times in a row at an awesome speed? At awesome speed? What do you mean awesome speed? Dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits. The user can charge direction between each charge. If the second charge hits an opposing Pokemon, the user is granted a shield. If the thir sh third charge hits an opposing Pokemon, the opponent is thrown. Man, I can't read anymore. Okay, so... Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's kind of awesome, actually. I don't know if you about the basic attacks. I feel like they look kind of weird. Oh. It's kind of like Night Slash. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, I think that looks pretty solid. I'm so curious about the Unite move as well. No, I like... I, okay, I like it. What? What? <laughs> what? What? A level 8 as well. It charges up and then... It... Okay. It... That is awesome. It charges... It's like dive, I guess, right? Kind of like dive. I mean, it's dive. Dive into a big tornado. Okay, Gardas is very cool. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing so far. It's supposed to come out like in January, in January already. Okay, that's the attack speed. Look at this attack speed as well. After using Drain Breath, bam, bam, it smacks. I'm not sure how, how do you guys feel about it being a melee attack. I feel like it would make more sense if it was a ranged attacker, right? Like a ranged auto attack. Oh, Unite move. Has the user dive underwater where it can't attack or be targeted by opposing Pokemon. When this move is used again, the user leaps up forcefully and attacks. If the user stays underwater for a certain amount of time, it creates a whirlpool where it surface, surfaces, applying a continuous slowing effect to opposing Pokemon it hits. If the user stays underwater for an even longer amount of time, it creates a water spout where it surfaces, throwing opposing Pokemon it hits. Okay. Wait, yeah, well, what's the boosted auto attack? Wait, I didn't pay attention to it.
Okay, that's good. Mobility as well. Does it actually reduce cooldown? No, it doesn't reduce cooldowns. Okay. Also, guys, this is still very early on, so there's like different effects right now, and like no, it doesn't have its own icons yet. Because it's uh, yeah, pretty early on. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm liking it. He's a physical attacker. I mean, yeah. What about it? Anti. I mean, he can. This is so strong. This is what I. This is what I thought. This is what I think they should remove. They like, rework ground guard chomp into. Like this should be a dick of guard chomp, right? That's why I thought they should rework uh, like guard chomp into into those kind of like into this kind of move. Yo, Gyarados is sick. Oh, the other moves. Bounce. Okay, let's see. Bounce and Aqua Tail. They can charge up and then go into a direction, I guess. And then Aqua Tail just swipes the ground. Okay, charge it up. And then... Is he not doing it correctly? What is happening? Okay. Can also quick bounce. Aqua Tail looks kind of lame. As you just swing its tail continuously for a set amount of time, if this move is opposing Pokemon three times, this move can be used again. Oh. The second stage of this move has the user charge up power, then sweep its tail to attack a wider area. If the user charges power for a set amount of time or longer before attacking, the move's area of effect is increased and it deals increased damage. Okay, so we have to see it like him use it against um white Pokemon or like enemy Pokemon. That's ba <laughs> Okay. That's bounce. As the user charge up power, then bounce to designate location and attack. If the longer power is charged, the far further user can bounce. The power is charged for a certain amount of time or longer, the user is granted a shield when it bounces and the user applies a movement speed decrease to opposing Pokemon it hits when it lands. Okay. That is... that is good. That seems... Uh, that seems very solid too. It's like, it's Zack. <laughs> it's Zack, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Now this seems, this seems fun. I like this kid. Now it can't, it can't move by charging. But the Unite move is insane, right? Like... It doesn't, it also looks very good. When it comes to animations. I mean, this looks very funny. I didn't expect Garros, Garados to get bounce. Did you expect Garados to get such an ability? <laughs> like, <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I did not. Yeah, the basic attacks look weird. I agree. Like, it feels like a ranged attacker. Like a ranged basic attacker, right? Not a melee basic attacker. That's what it feels like. But it's a melee basic attacker. Let's hit the Unite move one more time. He's bouncing in into Unite move, and then... I mean, this is so strong, right? That is so strong. Yeah, bye guys. I'm, I'm Manning Gyarados. See you later.